Hello again, I am Blunty, and if you're wondering why my mouth doesn't match up with what I'm saying is... Well, it's because the, the vision you're watching is from the vloggy kind of stuff I recorded upon arriving in Taipei, which is where I am at the moment. Last week was in Bangkok, this week I'm in Taipei. Doesn't suck to be me sometimes. However, as you may have guessed by now, in my bleary, travel-worn-out state, I actually forgot to um, connect the microphone to my camera... Uh, the cable was plugged into the camera, which means the internal microphones on the camera turned themselves off, but I didn't connect the other end to the microphone itself. So, <sighs> we're just going to have to do this the awkward way. Sorry if this is too distracting. Anyway, so I arrived in Taipei. I can't really show you much of Taipei yet. I arrived really late at night, so it was all very dark uh, as we were driving in, and most of that was highway travel, so there wasn't very much interesting mm -hmm. to point my camera at outside the... Uh, a car window. But anyway, after arriving in Taipei, took the car to the hotel, booked in the hotel, uh, turned on the TV, there was Jamie Oliver on my TV making some pucker tucker or whatever the hell it is he does, and that made me quite hungry, so I went uh, and found a convenience store. There was one right down below the hotel. Yay! Um, I got myself a little snack, which you can see me ha having here that's Omo Rice. Um, so I, I did some taste tests for that. And it was at this point after just arriving, by the way, where I set the camera and microphone up. So this is where I made the mistake because I was e exhausted, as you can tell. Just look at me. Look how terrible I look. Anyway, so anyway, I didn't do the smart thing and recheck all my equipment to make sure it was recording properly. And, and I didn't even look down at the little V-humidity to make sure I was recording audio or anything like that. So I screwed up anyway. <sighs> So I went and had some breakfast, which was terrible, by the way. One of the worst hotel breakfasts I've ever had. The bacon was soggy. The, um, the scrambled eggs were, were gray and bland, and even the fried egg wasn't that good. The orange juice was not bad, but the croissant was, um, well, <laughs> it might have been the worst croissant I've ever had in my life. I'm not sure what they made it with, but it wasn't pastry and butter, I suspect. So anyway, I went for a walk next, and I can show you some stuff from the walk, because I was using a different camera, but I, I set up properly, so uh, let's do that. Oh, I, I haven't mentioned why I'm in Taipei yet. I'm here uh, by invite of MSI. Uh, so I went to Bangkok last week for NVIDIA, and this week I'm in Bangkok for MSI. I wonder if the two things are somehow connected. Hmm. Anyway, let's go for a walk. So over there is my humble little hotel. Luckily, right downstairs, 7-Eleven. So I have all my snacks and energy drinks and even beer needs taken care of on a whim. I love having a 7-Eleven or convenience store or whatever. Really, really close to my hotel. Ooh, capsule machines. All right, so obviously you have to check out the capsule machines. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we've got the, uh, oh, we've got Gundams right there. I might grab a couple more of those before I go. We've got a couple of those customers in Japan. Uh, over here, ooh, little lazy egg and bowling pin and snack thing. Down here, uh, little dogs. Um, oh, what's the bloody name named that breed? I don't know, they're very popular in Asia. And over here, apparently kitchen utensils in the form of cats. <laughs> I think I might have to get a few of those as well. I generally leave that kind of stuff uh, till the last day because then I just throw whatever you know small change I have left into the capsule machine because <laughs> you know it's better than carrying out small things anyway i'm gonna go for a walk around the hotel like i do every morning that i travel you know i get up early have a shower make sure i'm ready hours before whatever meeting or appointment i have to do and uh so sort of get a lay of the land early in the morning before it gets in this case too incredibly stinking hot because again just like in bangkok last week it's warm here uh, slightly less muggy so far, but it's warm. The sun is barely up and it's already like 33 degrees or something ridiculous like that. Ooh, looks like we're... I, I didn't see most of this on the way in because it was dark on the way in last night, but there. Yeah. You know, Taiwan is already Kind of weirding that a little bit. It's kind of a weird mix between China and Japan. I mean, there's Chinese stuff everywhere, obviously, but the general sort of attitude uh, of the city and layout and this kind of stuff, it reminds me more of Tokyo than it does uh, of China when I was there. Anime girls on buses, gotta love it. There's another Japanese-inspired uh, event happening right there. A bike in a bike rack completely unsecured. 
just relying on people not being dicks and stealing or damaging your bike. It's just a thing. You can't do that. Most other places in the world, they'll fuck up your bike or steal your bike. But here, and uh, in Tokyo, just park your bike. I'm always going to fuck with it. Yeah, that seems safe. There's another thing that reminds me a bit of uh, Tokyo. A themed cafe. Kuma cafe. Or bear cafe, actually. Well, Kuma is bear in Japanese. I don't know what it is in Chinese or uh, uh, Mandarin, at least, I guess. But yeah. Mm, I wonder if I'll have time to poke my head in there and see what all that's about. And here, about half a block away from my hotel, is a little public park. Now, if I get an hour or two to myself, sometime uh, over the next day or two. I'm going to be spending an hour or two in this park with Pokemon Go active because Farfetch'd is uh, the exclusive Pokemon to the Asia Pacific region, or actually the Asia region, not Asia Pacific if we're going to get technical about it. But parks are apparently a good place to find them. I've been told, or at least I've read. Who knows, that might have changed. But, uh, yeah, I will be hopefully spending, you know, maybe just an hour if I can scrape out a spare hour somewhere along the way. Just trying to get myself one of those exclusive Asian far-fetched Pokemons. Or maybe a few. Maybe I'll collect as many as I can. That way when trading starts, I can share the love. And again, if I have time, it looks like this area is worth a bit of an explore down some of these alleys, because this is obviously some sort of shopping disc so maybe I'll find something interesting down here. There's a phone shop down there, maybe I'll find another Pokemon Go phone case inspired thingy because the one I bought a eBay broke before the game even came out. <laughs> Wheelwhores.com I don't know what they are or what they do but I do know this is absolutely one of the most uh, striking paint jobs for a car I've ever seen. That is intensely pink. Presented without comment. Oh yeah, I definitely need to do some exploring around this area. There are just streets and streets and streets and streets and streets of things. Now, I saw this as we drove in last night. There's a place where, just around the corner from my hotel called Mossburger. I have no idea whether it's any good, but I do intend to try it. Little fun fact about me that most of you won't know. I was in a musical, once upon a time, called Moss, M-O-S. It stood for Man of Steel. The musical was a parody, musical parody. Superman, of course. I played the title role, being quite a bit less fat at the time. And also, in uh, one of those very, very brief periods where I didn't have my beard. I was okay. I looked damn good in tights. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, just because of that little memory lane thing, I think I'm gonna have to try a Moss Burger. Anyway, back at my hotel now. I'm gonna go in and have some breakfast. Uh, and then get all my gear sorted for whatever the day holds. So there's a, there's a meeting where we learn about the product. And then there's some sort of city tour. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'll be showing you next. Thanks for watching. Bye, Blondie. We'll catch you next time.